Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Mindy. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have been here before, welcome back. This evening we are going to make a new recipe. It is called bacon cheeseburger casserole. I have never made this before. I will be sure to link the recipe below so that if you are interested, you can access it easily and try it out for yourself. I've already done a lot of the prep work for this recipe. I browned the ground beef, I've cooked the pasta. It calls for six pieces of bacon chopped. So I did the bacon, the ground beef, and the pasta so that we could just jump right in and get started. That being said, I'm gonna go over the ingredients with you. And these are the ingredients that we're going to be using. I have eight ounces of elbow pasta that I have pre-cooked six pieces of bacon that I cooked pretty crispy and cut it roughly, just chopped it up roughly, one and a half cups of beef broth, one pound of ground beef. I used 85% lean for this. I have one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, three tablespoons of ketchup, one heaping tablespoon of cornstarch, one cup of shredded cheddar and the recipe did not call for this but i'm adding it anyway i have half a teaspoon of onion powder and half a teaspoon of black pepper okay the first thing we're going to do is mix the components for the sauce together okay the first thing i'm going to do is put the cornstarch in this is my four and a half cup measuring cup and then i'm going to add the beef broth and i'm going to whisk those two together and work out any lumps that might form this is the beef broth and the cornstarch mixed together. Next, I'm going to add the three tablespoons of ketchup. And now I will add the Worcestershire sauce and the spices. I'm just gonna whisk it together. Okay, I have the skillet heating on medium high heat. I'm just going to add the sauce and I'm gonna give it a whisk. And now we just wait for it to start to boil and bubble and I will be whisking it the entire time until it thickens. Okay guys, it has not come to a boil yet, but it's starting to steam. I was curious because it does not call for salt. I may regret this, but I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt to this. My hands are very clean, by the way, because it really, for my palate, I believe it needed salt. But I was a little surprised there was no onions or anything in this recipe. I think if I make it again, I might make that exception and like as I'm browning the ground beef, add some onions. I think the onions would definitely be a nice addition to this. Okay, it is definitely starting to bubble up a little bit. It's getting thicker. I don't know if you can see because of the steam, but it's really, really thickening up nicely. So I will set this aside and we will assemble our casserole. Okay, I have added the pasta, bacon, and ground beef to a bowl. Now I have a baking dish. I'm just gonna lightly spray it with some cooking spray. And now we are going to get the sauce and add that. Here is the sauce. It almost looks like steak sauce. We're going to just pour this in. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix this all together. I wanna make sure all of the bacon and ground beef and pasta is coated with the sauce. And there you have it. That is our casserole. I'm going to add it to the baking dish. Next, I'm gonna to top it with the shredded cheddar cheese. Okay guys, I'm gonna pop this in the oven, which is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna let it bake for probably 20, 25 minutes until it kinda of gets a chance to you know, cook together. The cheese will melt. Hopefully it'll get a little bubbly on top and then we will be back for a taste test. Here it is, fresh out of the oven. I'm really glad I sprayed this pan because as you can see, some of the cheese Got really brown along the edges. All right, we are gonna dish some of this up and give it a try. Okay guys, here it is. Bacon cheeseburger casserole. It looks really good. It smells pretty good too. I have to admit, I really wasn't sure about the sauce and I'm still not. I'm not sure that this is something I will like. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything, the bacon, the burger, the pasta. The cheese, very hot. Do you see the steam? I have to blow on it. It really does smell good. Okay guys, this is really tasty. I actually like this. I do regret adding the salt to it because I think it's just a tad on the salty side, but it's not like so salty that you can't eat it. But I'm worried as it sits overnight, 
that might intensify a little bit because of the bacon that's in there as well. I guess we'll find out. But I will make this again. I will just omit the salt. For me, I give it two thumbs up and that's my two cents. Now, I will add a little note to let you know if Chris liked it. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap this up, get my mess cleaned up, package some of this up for Chris's lunch tomorrow and call it a night. I hope you guys will like this video. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already and leave me some comments because I absolutely love your comments and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's me Sadie. And I just have to say, I did not get to taste the casserole, but it sure did smell good. I love bacon and I love beef. And you guys know I love cheese. Yum. Oh well, maybe next time. I hope you guys will like, subscribe, and leave us some comments. And I'll see you next time. 